Today, join me as we go on a journey into the future. That's right, as promised, we are going to be finding out what Web3 is. Now normally for a video, I would pick a topic that I already have some knowledge about and some opinions and I would write something up, but this is kind of gonna be the exact opposite of that. A couple of my recent videos have been about like cryptocurrency and NFTs and every single time I've come across something pertaining to Web3 or Web3.0 and I have no idea what the fuck it is. So I thought it might be fun to try to figure it out together. And also if you do have an understanding of Web3, let me know at the end if I did a good job figuring it out or if I missed misunderstanding something about it because I'm kind of curious to see what you guys, I don't know, think about this topic because I've never heard anybody in real life talk about it. All I know so far is it's like the internet of the future and people who seem really invested in cryptocurrency think it's gonna be amazing. The thing is I'm not just gonna sit here and Google what is Web3. That would be too easy. Instead I'm gonna search the term on like Instagram and TikTok and places like that and use those websites and post from people on there to try to figure out what the fuck Web3 is. And and I have a nice little notebook here just to write down anything, you know, that seems relevant. Are you ready? Okay, so first we're gonna start with TikTok. The thumbnail for this one is WTF is Web3. So that seems like a good place to start. Let's see what we got. The internet is about to enter its third phase known as Web3. And the earlier people try to get in on this, especially creators trying to make money, the more successful you're gonna be. But what is Web3 exactly? So Web3 implies that there was a Web1 and a Web2. Web1 was the late 90s to the 2000s where people went on the internet simply to look at shit. Uh, there was no way of sharing it with anyone. That's Web2. Social media. Thanks, Mark Zuckerberg. And because of social media, now people started to figure out how to make money from those platforms. But that's the problem. They're having to use platforms. We don't own Facebook. We don't own TikTok. We don't own Instagram. But unfortunately, we have to use them in order to get in touch with our audience. Not anymore. You can now create your own platform, otherwise known as an online community. Basically like a mini Facebook, mini Instagram. You know, instead of relying on the platform, instead of renting the house, now you're owning the house. Your little online community is completely customizable. You can invite whoever you want, share whatever you want, talk about whatever you want. You're not surrounded by billions of people who have conflicting values, different interests. You know, creators are starting to build these communities around themselves and then selling things to their most loyal fans, like exclusive access to stuff. They're creating their own currency in the form of social tokens and NFTs. And as creators get more successful, their most loyal fans who bought into their cryptocurrency are now making money too because the value of their currency is going up and then they're selling it for a ridiculous amount of fucking money. Web3 is going to be insane. Bold prediction. Social media is going to die and online communities are going to thrive. Get in on it now. It's confusing. Do some research. I, I mean, it's a lot, but you're early, like really early. So let's all form communities and make a ton of money and be successful. And that's Web3. Who's in? Okay, so what I got from that is that we're in our third phase, that we need to get in early to make money. You need to own the platform instead of just renting space on a platform. And then I would also simultaneously be selling my own cryptocurrency. What he said in the beginning felt like it made sense. Like web one was putting information on the internet. Web two was the ability to share that information like with social media. And web three is the ability to distribute it yourself and make money yourself from that distribution. That's sort of what I got from that. I don't know if that's accurate or actually what he was saying, but it sounds like bullshit to me. I believe in a world of possibilities. I have a pretty good imagination about what could be, but like, how are people gonna find your thing? Like your own social media that you created, your own platform that you created. How are people gonna find it? It seems like with the internet, we've already like monetized the shit out of everything. And this is like double monetization of everything. The top comment here says, internet engineer here, web three is pretty much just a marketing term buzzword. It's just a way to say cloud and blockchain technologies are more prevalent. 
The comment below that one says, thanks, because as a software developer, I had no idea what he was talking about, and it sounded like he doesn't know tech. I might not understand the intricacies of how computers and the internet all work together, but like this person saying they're a software developer and they do understand those types of things, and this just sounded like a bunch of fucking marketing bullshit to them. I'm not really, I'm not really buying it. Okay, so this one, the thumbnail says, how to make money on Web3. Oh, and he, he's sponsored by Cloudflare. <laughs> Click the link in my bio to get your very own Web 3.0 domain. Oh my God, okay, before I even fucking click his video, do you know how much some people made off of domains with like before the first tech bubble? But I also don't believe that something like that can really truly be recreated again. I don't know what the fuck a Web 3.0 domain is. What is it, dot web with three Bs? <laughs> So let's see what this says. This guy says about how you can make money on Web 3.0. What is Web 3.0 and how can you start making money off of it? Web 3.0 is a new version of the internet and it's completely decentralized. Right now, companies like Amazon and Google control a huge portion of internet services. Web 3.0 would decentralize that entirely, meaning no one or two or five companies would be controlling the internet. So this is very clearly the future direction of the internet, but how do you get involved in it? Well, with support from Cloudflare, I can show you how. Here's a wonderful website called unstoppabledomains.com. This is where you can buy Web 3.0 domains. All these domains start at like 20 bucks and you gotta keep them for life. There's no renewal fees. Okay, so this was just an ad. Web 3.0 is already just fucking ads. Um, yeah, that's not what Web 3.0 is. And someone says, what is it? And he said, 1.0 was content, 2.0 was semantic web plus user generated content, and 3.0 is spatial web and machine user integration. Decentralization is a different thing. Sp I'm gonna write that down. Spatial, I don't know what it means. Spatial web and machine user integration. And I'm gonna cross out decentralized because they said decentralization is a different thing. Okay, this guy, let's see. It's from Cryptic Investing. Web 3.0 is the future of the internet. To understand why, we need to first understand the evolution of the web. Web 1.0 was the first version of the web that allowed us to search and only read things on the internet. To use Web 1.0, you had to connect to a dial-up modem, which made browsing the internet very slow and inefficient. Next came Web 2.0, which made the internet more interactive and social with sites like Facebook and Twitter. While Web 2.0 has made a lot of our lives easier, we're starting to drift away from the original vision of the web. This is because big corporations and social media giants have monopolized the internet. Web 3.0 is what gives power back to the users by using blockchain technology. Web 3.0 allows you to do anything that you currently do on the internet, but decentralized along with many other benefits. This includes making permissionless payments on the internet without a bank or entity like PayPal. Instead, you can use an in-browser Ethereum wallet like MetaMask. You can also make decentralized websites with blockchain domains. While Web 3.0 was envisioned to be the internet for blockchain technology and AI, the full capabilities are still unknown. If you have any questions about anything I mentioned, be sure to join the Discord community. I don't really, I still don't really get it. Like right here on this graphic, it says a revolution is coming again, Web 3.0. And to me, it just feels like, hey, did you miss out on Web 2.0? Here's a chance we're gonna like replicate Web 2.0, but over here on like this blockchain universe where everything is like decentralized. But like, first of all, I don't believe you. This is gonna be just as corporate as anything. I mean, it hasn't even like started yet and it's already so corporate feeling. Facial, oh no, I got from that one permissionless payments and then I circled decentralized, which I had crossed out before because I guess it is decentralized. Anyways, I'm sick of I'm sick of TikTok. We're going to go over to a different point of view. Let's go over to Instagram. There are way fewer results than on TikTok. So let's see. What makes web 3.0 superior? So it says no central point of control, increased information interconnectivity, more efficient browsing, improved advertising and marketing, better customer support. Support by who? If you go um look in the comments, every single comment in here is basically like spam. One person says, earn 15K with at whatever, whatever. Earn 6,400 US dollar Bitcoin weekly from my Bitcoin investment. I'm excited to start investing in crypto with Voyager. It's just people who are also trying to do this, boosting this post by also commenting on it. Okay, so another really cringy one, it's like the most recent one. It says, Universal Music Group record label is turning four NFTs into a new band called Kingship. The world's largest music company 
company has created a band of three bored apes and one mutant ape. <laughs> Sorry. Universal Music, working with collector Jimmy McNeils to convert four of his NFTs into a band called Kingship. 10.22 p.m., one of Universal's labels has hired a team of crypto artists and animators to turn the 2D apes into 3D apes. The company will record music for Kingship that it releases on streaming services. The band will perform and participate in video games, virtual reality applications, and across the constellation of digital experiences known as the metaverse. Boo, who fucking cares? We already had the gorillas. They already did this. You don't need to do the gorillas, but like Mark Zuckerberg fucking opens for them or whatever. Maybe uh, Instagram is not the place for web three. Let's go to Twitter because I don't know if you guys know this, but sometimes I go on Twitter. Web3 is decentralized, runs on blockchains, and powers in the hands of users and individual nodes on the network. Web2 is centralized and in the hands of the tech giants. But this guy is like a fucking tech... Tech fluencer. In his bio, it says he's the co-founder of Evira Health, which is a business-to-business -business health tech experts. What are you fucking talking about? It's a telehealth service. I don't believe that you have any interest in decentralizing anything. So this tells you what your centralized services on web two are and then what the decentralized alternative will be. So it says professional ne network. Instead of LinkedIn, it's gonna be indoors. Oh God, this feels like when a cartoon, like instead of like Coca-Cola, they call it like Mocha Mola. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, discussion network, instead of Reddit. Steam it. <laughs> microblogging, Twitter. Ink drop, messaging, WhatsApp, status. Collaboration, instead of Slack, Telegram. Video voice calls, instead of Skype, oh, I'm always out here using Skype, uh, it's gonna be Experty. And Freelancer, instead of Upwork, it's gonna be Ethlance. Ethlance, like Ethereum, because you're gonna get paid in fucking crypto. Hope that works out. God, is that what we're gonna start doing? We're gonna start paying the slave laborers in fucking crypto on the off chance that it's not fucking real and they'll never be able to collect it or cash out? Oh, is this what the metaverse looks like? This says, prepped and ready for hashtag Hive Fest on Friday and Saturday. Come join us where we will present about our vision and where hashtag Web3 is going on hashtag Hive. This looks like worse than like the Wii universe. You know what I'm talking? He looks like a, 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 a me from, from Wii. <laughs> this sentence is not working. Okay, he looks like what your character on the Wii would look like, but worse. <laughs> The metaverse is just like the fucking Wii loading screen. Like this sucks so bad. What is this? It like his hand is like dismembered down here. Let's see what else this person posts. Free speak, home of free speech, deplatformed content creators, citizen journalists, open debate and offensive jokes and oppression free, powered by Hive. So like, this is where racists go when they get fucking canceled? Or what, what are we talking about here? But let's go back to TikTok. This one says that half a million, half a billion new Web3 and crypto users will be onboarded. Let's see what it says. In case you missed this huge crypto news last week involving Reddit, Reddit is partnering up with Offchain Labs, the creators of Arbitrum, to tokenize community points. What's the impact? Raul, one of the engineers on the Reddit crypto team says, Reddit has 500 million monthly active users. So when they pull this off, they would be onboarding half a billion Web2 users into Web3 and there is no going back. Follow for more spicy crypto stuff. So what's kind of weird about that is they were just saying that the new Web3 will be free of all these tech giants. Isn't Reddit one of the tech giants? Who owns Reddit? Advanced Publications is a private company, industry mass media. It was founded 99 years ago, so it's obviously an original media company that bought tech media. They were headquartered in the World Trade Center. Cool, so seems like a tech giant to me. So they're partnering up with Offchain Labs. Offchain Labs was co-founded by Ed Felton, former Deputy U.S. Chief Technology Officer in the Obama White House and longtime professor at Princeton University. Just a small time guy. No tech giants here, just the guy who f was the fucking U.S. Chief Technology Officer under Obama. Like, what are these people on that they, th they, they can just say this shit and not like hear themselves speak? Okay, so you're saying that the tech giants who are already super profitable are gonna move to Web3 
to make less money. They're gonna do all this work to tokenize things and transition over to Web3 at a loss. It'll take away some of their power. I don't believe that at all. Everybody who posts crypto videos about Web3 uses the creepiest music, like Blade Runner music. The vibes are fucked, okay? I think that that was enough. So, so far on my notebook, I got, it's the third phase. We need to get in early to make money. You own the platform. You sell your own coin. It's decentralized, so like no Amazon Web Services, spatial web and machine user integration. Still don't know what that means. Uh, if any of my devs in the comments wanna frickin' explain it to me. Permissionless payments. Okay, so what did we learn about Web3? Well, um, Web3 is not like Web2 because Web2 is bad and Web3 is good. How is it good? Because people can make money. How is that good? I have no idea. I have no idea how the fact that you can make a lot of money off of Web 3.0 makes it good or better because that's the exact same as Web 2. Although this time they're saying you can make money off of it, not like people made a ton of money because of Web 2 and you didn't get in on the frickin' action. But now here's your chance, because what if there's not a Web 4? No, don't get me wrong. There are people that will make money off of this by tricking people into thinking that Web 3 is a thing. You are not one of those people. Do not be fooled by one of those people. I don't think that this is gonna be any different from Web 2, except for the fact that instead of doing transactions with like credit card numbers, they're gonna use blockchain and crypto. That's my frickin' analysis. Now, I don't really understand the technical side of it. If you think I'm totally wrong about what I just said, let me know. But yeah, other than all the vibes being completely fucked, this was very fun. I really enjoyed doing this. By the way, from now on, I'm going to start my videos right away and I'm going to save all my juicy little updates for the very end of the video because I figure if you are watching my videos until the very end, you probably care about my channel updates. So yeah. Thank you to all these patrons whose names you can see on the side of the screen here. Also, I created a Google form where you can go and submit video ideas. So if there's something you want me to talk about down below in the in the description box. I already got a couple really awesome suggestions so thank you for those and yeah have fun on the internet today. Bye!